you recently just got shot again. Yeah. Which <laughs> makes it how many different occasions at this point have you been shot? Uh, three times. Three and oh right now. Three and oh. Yeah. Uh, before we even get into it, uh, why do you keep getting shot? Oh, no. I, I ask myself that every day. I ask myself that every day. It's like, it just, I don't understand. Like, I ain't, a, I'm the type of person, like, I'm humble, humble as a sheep. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's probably because, like, when I'm, that's, that's why I moved to Atlanta. Because I'm too convenient. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't know. Sometimes I be thinking I be showing love by just vibing, but it, I'm probably look like I'm throwing it in, in some people's face. Mm. Now, sometimes when people shoot, they shoot to kill. Sometimes it, you can be an innocent bystander in things. And sometimes people will shoot more like a warning, you know, don't mess with me type of thing. It could get worse than, than, than this, you know, or maybe even accidentally shoot you. Uh, in these incidents that you've been, are people trying to off you? Uh, I don't know. I think every time you aim a gun at a person, man, like, you, you tend to kill them. If you squeeze that trigger. Now, I've heard of people getting shot one time by one bullet and they die. Yeah. Or uh, they uh, get paralyzed. You've been shot three times and you walked into the interview, you seemed yeah. fine. It's crazy that I, I would, um, I would put now a paraplegia once. I didn't know that. Yeah. The first time I got shot. Now, uh, how old were you when you got uh, shot on these different occasions? Oh, man. The first time I was like, what, 22? I was 22. I just, when I just, I just had came home from doing a little bit. I shot then. This time I was 20. I got shot. I got shot twice this year. Two times in one year. Yeah. Um, now, okay, because you've gotten shot multiple times, I'm going to ask these following questions, uh, and we can tie all three incidents as I ask you them. But uh, each time you've been shot, for somebody watching this that's never been shot before, what does that actually feel like? Uh -huh. Shit, it burn. First, when you get hit, you ain't gonna feel it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like this time, like this time being shot, I knew I was shot because I know the feeling. I'm kind of like it felt more so of a vibration. I knew I was hit, mm. but I couldn't stop running. I had to keep running. But this time, all I felt was a vibration, like that I was hit. And then it take it take like I'm gonna say five, ten minutes. Once you realize you had that talk, like you ain't, you know, you're not dying. You scrape, that's when the pain come. Uh, what goes through your head each time you you had gotten shot? Like the first time it, I had that the first time when I got shot, I had to I had to like block everything around me out because it was a big crowd. I had to block everything. I had to have a talk with like the, like higher power and like ask them like I know when you die, you feel some type of weight. So I had to I had to. Blink everything out of like, am I dying? Mm. And then once I realized I, I felt normal, I was okay. But the other two times, I knew I was good. Uh, I know sometimes when people get shot or have something this traumatic happen to them, they're either one of two ways. They either panic or they remain calm. Uh, and I think medically they want you to remain calm, but how, how were you affected each time you had gotten yeah, I'm I'm calm. Even the very first time? Yeah, because the very first time when I, I was down, I was down. What kept you calm? Was it just your natural personality or was it somebody telling you, hey, remain calm, stay calm? No, I was, I was just calm. I was just calm because like back to the first time, like I was calm because I seen like my partner was doing. Like I got shot with my with my with my best friend Polo Pool. You know what I'm saying? I seen he was out. He was a lot worse than me, and I was more so worried about him. Mm. Like when the paramedics came to get me, I told them to get him first. Mm. I was more so worried about him. 
In the same situation I just got shot this time, like they tried to get me, I told them to get my homeboy, Lou, because he got shot in the chest. You're conscious, it sounds like, on all three occasions. Yeah. Uh, did you think at all, in any of the occasions, you were going to die at all? Huh, no. Nah. You did say the first time you got shot, there was a chance you could have been, or they said you were, explain that part, the paralyzed part. Yeah, paraplegic, like on the, like, on your paperwork, that's on the foot of your arm, your bed, paraplegic. But until my arm, I came out of a little slight little cone that I was in, and I wiggled my toes. The coma you were in, was that medically induced? Yeah. Okay. So that was on purpose. Yeah. They put you under. What was the reason they had to put you under? Um, for the um surgeries, I had to they had to cut my cut me open and fix whatever was wrong with it. The bullet just came out like two three years ago. It's on my spine. It came out. Yes, and uh, you actually posted that on your Instagram page. Uh, yeah. And uh, we'll talk about another thing that you did on Instagram. Okay. Uh, each time. Because you did mention the first time there was an ambulance. You mentioned par paramedics. Each time, uh, was there an ambulance involved? Or was there ever, in any of these occasions, you had to take yourself or to ho hop in a car to go to the hospital? Yeah, my um, my second time, I had to catch a ride to the hospital. Mm. Uh, when you do, okay, before we even talk about being in the hospital, this last time you were shot, you were actually on Instagram Live uh, yeah. in the back of the ambulance as you were riding to the hospital. Yeah, to the paramedics, yeah. Went now, down. whose idea was that? Are you doing this on your own with your own phone? Is there somebody in the, the ambulance with you, a friend doing this for you or what? No, I did that on my own phone. I did that, on, I did that myself because, you know, I, I know the shooter was watching. So it's like, damn, <laughs> you fail, homie. So that was more so for him versus the rest of the world. Yeah, it was more so for it was more. For, it basically say oh, for him, but it was for the world. Like I'm undisputed. Do you think he was watching that live? Quite sure he was. Um, okay, you. Okay, the second time you had gotten shot and you jump in a whip and you go to the hospital. Is it like the movies where? Okay, you make it to the hospital, you bust through the doors, everybody's, oh, there's a lot of commotion, let's wheel them in, throw them on the gurney, wheel them into surgery. Is it like that or no? Uh, nah, it, when I walked in, it's like, I'm hit, I'm hit, and everybody like, then one of the, but you know, I'm from, in my hood, they know me. Mm. So one security knew me, he took me straight to the back. Now, it sounds like the first time you were shot, that was probably the worst as far as surgery was concerned. Yeah. Being that you had to be put in a coma and, and stuff like that. Uh, the other two incidents, you had to have surgery as well or no? Just stitches? Um, the second time I had to have surgery, the, the most recent one, I just had stitches in and out. Um, and we didn't really describe exactly uh, what, how you were hit or what part of the body you were hit. So just explain that on each incident where you were actually shot? Um, first time I was shot, I was shot right here to my side. That bullet stayed in, it ended up coming out a couple of years ago. Which is on your Instagram. Second time I was shot in the hand. Right there, I had uh, surgery on my hand. Still, I can't, I can't bend that motherfucker. Third time I was shot, like, um, side of my ankle, like, I don't know how it went through my ankle, but it came out the bottom of my foot. Mm -hmm. I probably, Went through the bottom of my foot and came out of the sucker. I was running. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> Could have been either or there. Yeah. Uh, the hand one, uh, was that an a, a album cover or was that a t shirt? I saw yeah. t shirts yeah. of it. T shirt, you know what I'm saying? It was a t shirt. You turned it into merchandise. Yeah. Or was it an Instagram picture of your hand first and then it became a t shirt? It was a, it was a picture of my hand, but I got it, I got it put on a t shirt. And because after, because. When I got shot that second time, I was at my store, the Coley stop. So I, so I went to saying bread over beef. You know what I'm saying? I started the bread over beef movement, and that was a symbol. Oh, I see. Bread over beef. So I turned a, a negative to a positive. So the, like the person who hating on me, who's shooting at me, I'm finna, I'm finna make me a.
couple dollars off this shirt off of, off of what you thought was a negative. I'm finna turn it to a positive. Mm. I'm finna pay my rent off of t-shirts. Uh, currently, you have no bullets in you, right? Huh, nah. They're all gone. Yeah, I'm good right now. Uh, do you remember the caliber, the type of bullet it was in each incident, or no? I think this, I think I only remember, my, this one was like a four or five in my stomach. Mm. And the rest of them, they was in and out, so you never found the bullet. I see. Uh, could you gauge by the... Because uh, one, one you had surgery, the incident number two you had surgery, incident number three you didn't have surgery, so could you at, at all gauge it by? No. Nah. Couldn't. Um, that first time you got shot, how long were you in the hospital for? Coma, everything? I was in the hospital like, I was in the hospital like three weeks, three, four weeks. Second time? Second time I was in there about a week. Uh, third third time. time, I was out the same day. I wanted to stay and chill, get some rest and room service. They kicked me out the same day. Mm. That first time you were in there for three weeks, did you rap at all while you were in the hospital? Did you work on any music at all whatsoever or no? No. Nah. I've seen some rappers do that. Like during their hospital stay, they might write rhymes or they might try to set up a mic or something and just try to capture that energy or that... No, nah, I wasn't doing none of that. Mm. Cause like I say, my partner, my partner was messed up bad. So I was worried about him. Uh, what was the recovery process like in these three incidents for you? Start with the first one. The first one I had like, I posted war. They gave me a brace, like a, like a back brace. I posted war for like two years, they said. But you know, that was around the time I was, those mileys first came out. I popped the molly and I, cause I couldn't walk. I popped the molly, I started walking. So <laughs> that was my recovery, the mileys back then. Second time I posted like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I posted like, see I can't bend this. I posted went to therapy for this. Physical therapy. Yeah, I never went. This right here, I po I'm supposed to be walking right now. I just got shot like three weeks ago. I had a splint, but I took it off from walking. So I'm just bionic right now. I'm just. Healing hard about it. Why aren't you following doctor's orders with the physical therapy and stuff? Is it you not? Go ahead, I'll let you. Cause it's like. I was gonna fill in your answer there for you. <laughs> yeah, cause it's like once they, I can look at this right here and tell that I'm never being bend it again. Like mm. my knuckle, if you see my knuckle way I am. Mm. So I know it ain't nothing I can really do. Even, really the doctor really told me I was fucked too. So once he said that, I was like, I ain't gonna waste my time. Oh, so he said you were messed up even before you even did, did the physical therapy. He yeah. didn't say physical therapy would get you back to normal at no, all. He said you could. He said you could try and do physical therapy, but he said you fucked. Oh, it'll never be the same. I see. And with the splint situation, I had a little scooter that I used to ride around on. I posted, them. but I got tired of that. But now I can, I can walk a little bit. So I'm just. It is what it is. With the scooter, you use that in a music video, right? Uh, yeah, I done did shows and all with the school. I was gonna ask, I thought you did a show. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah, they love my little scooter. <laughs> uh, how easy or hard was it to do the music video or perform with the scooter? I, it wasn't hard at all. Just probably like getting on stage, but you know how my boy picked me up on stage, put my scooter, once, my, I'm, once I got my scooter, I'm good. I can mm -hmm. work the stage and everything with my scooter. You could. Yeah. Was it uh, frustrating though, you not being able to do what you want on stage because you're limited to a certain extent? Yeah, it frustrated period when you came over depending on the next person. Mm. With the performance, uh, was there any thought from the promoter, hey, you just got shot, let's just reschedule this for another time? Or was it the show must go on, it's already set in stone type the, of thing? The or? show must go on, it, was, it, it put more hype on it for the promoter. Oh. Um, was there any thought you might not have been able to do that show or had to reschedule or that wasn't even in your realm of thinking? No, nah, at first, but then like it got a, like, when I first got shot, but then like when it got closer to the date, I went like, oh, I'm, I'm cool. But you know, my mom, my grandma and them were tripping. But I'm like, I'm going to get this money. <laughs> now that first time you had gotten shot, you self, uh, self-medicated 
yourself, uh, that sounds redundant, but you self-medicated yourself with Molly. Uh, was the prescription medicine or the painkillers or whatever it was that they prescribed to you not enough? Or not doing it for you? Nah, you know, they don't give you so much of those. Mm. Then after that, you're done. And they feel like you're abusing it. I also know that sometimes uh, when you speak of the limit there, uh, part of that limit may be so you don't uh, abuse it or you don't get, addic get yeah. addicted. Uh, yeah. Could you have seen yourself getting addicted to those, those types of prescriptions or, or not really for you? No, nah, I don't think I'd get addicted to nothing like that. There are no drugs. I go, I can like, like I used to do drugs and I just, I go cold turkey. Uh, curious here, especially with that first time, right? Where you were in a coma, you did three weeks. Uh, oh, actually, <laughs> before I ask you this, with the physical therapy part, sorry, let me revert back to that. With the physical therapy question, uh, hindsight 2020, do you wish you would have spent more time doing physical therapy on either of these incidents or uh, no regrets there? Uh, no regrets. I'm probably going to regret with my, um, with my foot though because I got like a, a hairline fracture and it's probably not going to, when you're dealing with bones, it ain't going to heal right properly. Because I have heard that when people do cut their physical therapy short or they don't go in, uh, it, it affects the final outcome of, yeah. of things. Time will tell, but I've been fine so far. Um, let's say somebody's watching this. I'll ask that question after. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. A uh, lot of questions. Sorry, I'm trying to organize myself here. Okay, with that first time, right? Uh, you were in the hospital for three weeks, in the coma, you get out. Uh, how soon before you had sex for the first time? Oh man, I, I want to say I had sex in the um in the hospital. You did. Yeah. Was that easy or hard to do? Uh, it, it was fairly easy. You know that was the thing. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, cause at first it wasn't working. I think it was the medication. Mm. So you know, soon it it got up. I was ready to use them. Now, whose idea was that? Was it uh, the female, hey, I'm trying to help you get better, this might work? Or was it you being horny or trying to get in the swing of things of how you are normally and yeah. you wanted to do that? It was me trying to make sure, make sure he worked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, and also speaking of the first uh, incident there about the paraplegic thing, at, 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 uh, they said that you, or they marked you as paraplegic. Yeah. Uh, you, um, Wiggling your toe, that was the sign that you weren't going to be paraplegic? Yeah. yeah. I see. I just wanted some clarification on that. Um, and that bullet ended up coming out by your spine, too, you said. Was that a worry for, for, for any of the doctors as well, of that bullet moving or coming out? That could have made you, at, yeah. at some point, become paralyzed if you weren't already? Yeah, that's why, that's why they left it in, because it was right on the spine. So if they would have went in, I probably would have been paralyzed. Ah. So they just left it. Did they think that bullet was ever going to come out or it was just going to be lodged in there and it just so happened to come out? Uh, I don't remember what they told me. Uh, when it did come out, was that a total surprise or shock to you? Uh, yeah, it just I just got a big, like, boil on my shit. And then, but I'm... But I'm, I'm so glad it came out because it was like, it was painful because it used to swell up and then I might hit it on something because it, it was visible. It was very visible. You can look at my back and see a big, see the bullet. Mm. Were you trying to cut open the boil yourself and just get whatever was in there out or you just let nature take its course? I, I went to um, squeezing it, playing with it, and I went to the hospital and then they told me that it's perfectly normal, just your body rejecting what I'm supposed to be in. I see. Um, with each of these incidents, uh, uh, doing shows, I rem okay, we already talked about the uh, last time you just gotten shot uh, on the ankle and you doing a show. How soon do you think you did that show on the uh, scooter? How soon after you got shot by the time you hit the, the stage? Uh, I was um, two days later. 
Was that, wow, two days later, that's crazy. Uh, what about the other incidents doing shows? Uh, how soon were you able to make a, a nightclub appearance for a hosting or maybe doing an actual show? I don't remember with my hand, but the hand ain't really stopped no show either. Cause I had my slang. I was good. Uh, you are right-handed? Yeah. And you did get shot in your right hand? Yeah. Uh, does that make things tough for you? Yeah, like, I'm grabbing things. Cause this really like, this hand, this finger right hand really dead. It can't do anything. So yeah. I gotta grab things, like, I write different everything. When you say dead, you can still feel everything. Yeah, I can feel it, but it's like, like when I grab, sometimes I buddy tape it. Like this, so it can move when, when this one moves. Oh, so it's like two fingers working as yeah, well. Yeah, because when I just grab, it's, it ain't gonna move. Uh, could they do any type of surgery or uh, anything reconstructive for that if you wanted it fixed? Is that huh. possible or no? Yeah, they could. They were talking about reconstructing it, but they were talking about another surgery. I didn't want to go into other surgery. Mm. I see. Uh, as far as any other complications, what about uh, when it rains, when it gets cold? How do you feel? How does your body react? I feel the same. Um, somebody watching this, uh, recovering from a gunshot themselves, and uh, circumstances could be different for every gunshot wound, but any general uh, advice here for somebody recovering from a gunshot themselves? Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Same them gall pads. Now, I imagine... Uh, hospital for three weeks, induced coma, physical therapy, all this stuff, ambulance rides, that can be very expensive. When it comes to health insurance, uh, medical bills, how does that all work for you? Um, they, they pile up. They just pile up. They have to, they got to get mine when I ate the lotto or something. Mm, I see. Um, have any of these incidents changed your outlook on life? Uh, yeah, this this last one like really changed my outlook on life. In what ways? Like it's like I just gotta I gotta get from around my city. You know what I'm saying like everybody like was been telling like I've been shot the first time, and it's over hate. You know what I'm saying? Then the second time they like all right, you need to leave, Cola. You know, Boosie told me to leave. You know what I'm saying? Everybody telling me to leave. All my family, friends, everywhere I go, they're like, what you still here for, bro? You know, I grow. It's time to expand. Now the third time is like, oh, yeah, you got to go. It's just like I can't. If I, if I post a picture on Instagram, all my comments is leave Florida, leave Florida, leave Florida. So it's like, in my heart, I feel like, man, I ain't got to, ain't no nigga finna run me. Uh, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I ain't got to do Nothing, man, you feel me? But I don't want to be that motherfucker like they saying I told that motherfucker to leave. You know what I'm saying? So I just fuck it. And then what blowed me, you know, the dude, Young Greatness, God bless the dead. Me and him, we worked together, right? So it's like I done got shot for the third time and everybody like, move, move, Coley, move, Coley. And then I wake up. He did, you know what I'm saying? They killed him in his own city. And so now, in the song that we got to go, young nigga grind for a check. Still ain't trying to leave the hood though. That was the hook on the song. So I took that as like my sign, like, man, go on, call the lead. I just packed up. Why Atlanta of all places? Why not Miami? Why not LA? Why not New York? Um, Definitely not Miami, cause that's Florida. I still be hanging and hanging and banging high on in Broward. Atlanta cause it's more like for the music situation, you know what I'm saying? You got players up here. Boss players, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna motivate me. Like when I see like I could have moved anywhere in Florida, but they'll still treat me the same. Like when I go to the club I get special privileges. Don't have to wait in line. See, I'm gonna come up here where it's, where it's bigger fish at and I and let them handle me a certain type of way when I go to the club. Like, oh, charge me, and that's just gonna make me feel like I gotta go harder. So you welcome that energy. 
Yeah, because that's when I that's when I perform on the press one when I get like feel like a bitch trying me. And that was my thing with Florida. I got so comfortable in Florida, I'm getting special privileges everywhere I go, cold it, cold it, cold it. You know what I'm saying? And I got comfortable. But now I'm here and it's bigger fish than me. So now I gotta get I gotta elevate. Because you're uncomfortable at that yeah, point. I'm uncomfortable. Uh, how long have you been in Atlanta for at this point? Um, I've been in Atlanta um, three days. Oh, it's three days. I was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you made this public? Huh? Yeah. I made it public. Like on your social media type of thing? Is it you? Like, was there some sort of announcement? Like Atlanta, this is what's up. I'm here now. Yeah. Let Something of that nature. Yeah. Uh, it's only been three days, but I know word can travel fast. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the feedback? I don't know if you've heard any feedback yet from people. No, they, they say that's the best thing I ever could have did. They you, happy for me. So far, you've gotten good feedback so far, but yeah. uh, do you anticipate, hey, uh, Coley left us. Uh, Coley abandoned Broward County. Uh, that's, are, do you anticipate any of that sort no. of? That's the, that's, I think that's the last thing they'll say. I stuck around so long to the point like, man, all that, man, we gonna be him. We gonna be him, this gonna be him, bro. Get from around him. Uh, you still have family, I imagine, in Broward. Huh, yeah. Uh, so I imagine even though you uh, are living in Atlanta now, you will travel back and forth. Some, huh? tra yeah. Travel back and forth at some point. Of course. Um, do you rap any different now? I know your outlook on life has changed, but uh, do you rap any different because of these incidents that you've experienced? Has it changed the direction of your music at all? Well, I rap the same from the last two years, because from the first time I've been rapping, like, I know niggas are hate, you know what I'm saying? So I'll, it's basically the same thing. One thing I rap different by now is bossing up, diamonds in my teeth and shit like that, though. Hmm. Uh, and with the diamond teeth, did you get the diamond teeth before this third time you got shot or after you got shot? Before. Oh. Uh, hindsight 2020, I know we didn't really get into the details of why these incidents happened or led to you getting shot, but uh, could any of these situations been avoided, the three incidents that you endured? Nah, couldn't have been avoided, because the thing about it, I don't, I don't really know why it's happening. That's a scary thought. Yeah, that's the scary part about it. Um, it's like, ain't nobody like, whoever did, they cowards. They cowards, and they hate me because, for their mistake, for their failures, they mad at they sell. You know, misery love company. 